who uh, want to read books, people who want to read books and um, you know they want to, uh, they are unable to do so or they are confused or you know how to read and how to retain. Most people read books, but they're not able to retain. So we'll talk about how to uh, you know get the best out of books and get the best out of reading. Uh, to end the session, I will talk about five of the best books that I would want to recommend. So this is not sort of a, uh, you know, uh, any, any mandate as such, but these are the first uh, books that, you know, that I got benefited. So I would want if you all to read them, uh, if you wish to. And yeah, then the, finally, I'll uh, leave the floor for uh, open floor for questions and answers from uh, every one of you. We can discuss if there are any questions. Cool. Can we move so, ahead, uh, Rajesh, uh, Ajay? Yeah, sure. And again, Abdul, I'm requesting you please use Hindi also in this language because we have some students who are not able to understand the proper language. Hope you can. Okay, so uh, sure, sure. So to begin with, uh, let me introduce uh, this topic by you know introducing uh, Alvin Toffler. He is a futurist writer and one of the most influential writers of the 21st century. He has written books like Future Shock, Third Wave, and Power Shift. So if you don't have a so you can always Google, and there's a lot of information about Alvin Toffler and who he is, and you know his books are phenomenal. And if you haven't read about Alvin Toffler or his books, so I would suggest that do Google and uh, you know learn more about him. His books, are uh, revealing and I think you know uh, agar uh, aap padte hai unko to aapke liye bohut fayda hai uh, Ajay can we move to the next slide please sure. so uh, I want to quote Alvin Toffler uh, you know uh, basically uh, this is a very famous quote and uh, most of you must have come across it somewhere or the other but then uh, I want to quote it for emphasis he says that the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So these are very powerful words. And uh, he is laying emphasis on the illiterate of the 21st century. What he is trying to say is that, uh, you know, uh, our schooling system is very inadequate. You know, that the curriculum that that we are taught is uh, very inadequate to prepare us for the changes that are happening around us. Yeah. There's a lot of changes that is happening. And if we are just relying on our conventional schooling system and not you know, uh, trying to unlearn those things and relearn the new changes that are happening, then we, we are at a disadvantage. So you know, we will be only uh, harming ourselves, uh, and we will be uh, relegating ourselves as uh, you know, uh, we will be insignificant. If you want to remain significant, then we have to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So this is a very significant quote, and I always kind of uh, remain always inspired by Alvin Toffler. So wanted to share this. Can we move ahead? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So. Extending the quote, I want to, you know, uh, emphasize on this word consciousness. So you can note it down. I, I am sure almost everyone of you must have come across this word, uh, but I would just want to explain what is consciousness. So consciousness is awareness of our internal and internal ex external existence. So it may be awareness. It may be just awareness, awareness of awareness or self-awareness. That there, there might be different levels of orders of consciousness or different kinds of consciousness or just one kind with different features. Now, this might seem a little uh, complicated to you. What is basically consciousness? You can just take it as awareness. Awareness of our own selves, awareness of our internal selves and the external selves. So, uh, I just want to kind of emphasize on this word. Hello, can mute please uh, there's a disturbance here guys please and um, please mute yourself so that speaker can speak very well and you can hear it out properly thank you uh, 
Guys, I am requesting to please unmute yourself. Otherwise, I have to do it unforcedly. Yeah, thank you. So, extending this definition of consciousness, I think you know, uh, don't want to confuse you further. I mean, it's just uh, just take it as awareness, awareness of our own selves, the internal and external. Can we move ahead? Aja, next slide, please. Yeah. So, just an example of consciousness. So, आप लोगों ने सुना होगा ये यू नो कुएं का मेंढक so basically this is a very famous saying like kuwe ka mendak is a very famous uh, you know example to kind of explain uh, someone who is remains who remains insulated in his own world you know where is there is very less awareness about the external world is uh, one who is contented himself so i kind of use this example to kind of explain the consciousness so here this uh, the frog in a well i am trying to kind of say that he has a golf ball sized consciousness means his awareness is kind of very small like a golf ball yeah so now can we move on to the next slide please uh now extending this topic of awareness now this is uh, an example of pale blue dot so pale blue dot is this picture taken by the voyager um you know the spacecraft voyager uh, while it was away in space it took the picture of our earth and uh, you can see the earth there it, it's a small speck of uh, you know uh, small dot there and uh, uh, the astrologer you know the astronomer uh, carl sagan he kind of used this in his book uh, to kind of explain the insignificance of our life so he is kind of he has explained it as the overview effect what he is trying to say is when we look at ourselves our existence from far away from space it kind of challenges our notions about you know how insignificant we are so when we compare ourselves with the frog in the pond and when we you know when the when the astronaut carl sagan is explaining uh, his his view of you know human beings from far away from space you can see the such difference here you know there's this consciousness you know he is at a much um, you know he is explaining things from a much bigger level much expanded level of consciousness of course the difference is quite visible so uh, humans uh, as humans ourselves there's always this struggle to kind of you know uh, to expand our consciousness to be more aware about ourselves and our surroundings so so this is the difference actually you know and uh, life uh, as such our life is a struggle to kind of it's all about consciousness and where we are and where we want to be so this point of pale light it kind of challenges our delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe we are not like we are so insignificant you know our all our uh, talk about religion race culture country all pales into insignificance far off far away from space so i always kind of you know look at this pale blue dot concept to kind of you know remind myself as how insignificant insignificant i am and how less knowledgeable i am about me and my surroundings it always tries to keep me rooted to my to my learnings and this is something when you are talking about you have already read more than 300 books and still we are thinking that we are so intelligent because because we have not read even four to five books so it's 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 salute to you the way you are describing yourself <laughs> thank you ajay but uh, yeah i think i think everybody is in a in, in a journey and i you know we kind of now that i have introduced it people who uh, you know who may not be aware of it do kind of google about pale blue dot and try to learn about this concept i think it will kind of be enriching in your life can we move ahead please yeah taking ahead this you know uh, concept of consciousness i just want to say that you know we are we are an extension of the universe you know uh, our mind is an extension of the universe and uh, we always kind of um, uh, talk to ourselves about you know in the value judgments we give to ourselves we should be very mindful because you know we are kind of an extension of the universe and the and the and the message we give to ourselves kinds of define us as to who we are so this this slide is actually an extension of the previous slide next slide please 
so the picture here you can see is the is that of the mind and uh, again i am trying to emphasize here so we always spend so much of money on on clothes on you know to kind of externally embellish ourselves hum apne aap ko sundar dikhane ke liye ya you know gorgeous dikhane ke liye bahut invest karte hain but how much do we invest on the mind what do we feed the mind every day uh, you know junk entertainment web series tiktok videos so are these things really enriching the mind you know how much time do we really uh, take in a in our 24 hours a day to kind of uh, nourish the mind with something of quality do we ever really uh, take time to uh, nurture the mind with the things that it requires that the things that it it, it is needed so this slide is about this questioning that we should you know kind of i kind of personally do it every day as to what uh, so abdul I'm sorry i'm feeding the mind every day yeah sorry abdul i am interrupting you right now but as a as a new member of this session if somebody will see this screen then if say why should i go for the books if i can i can go through the audio books over the internet so what do you prefer are you going to read the books or you are going to google to listen some kind of podcast and all so do you have any opinion for that yeah so I, the, everybody has got his own uh, I, I i am just talking about books of uh, audio books and podcast are an extension of you know of knowledge gaining knowledge so yeah i mean those are also you know preferred mediums of um, you know learning and growing so yeah, yeah. anyone is fine to take up anything so long as it kind of nourishes the mind good ka google uh, you know google podcast or a ted talk or or a, or books or seminars or anything i mean so this is this talk is about books but then yeah if you are talking about you know self growth and investment i think all those options are equally good good question ajay can we move ahead yeah so this is a video about david lynch um, if if aap logon ko agar david lynch ke bare mein pata nahi hai to he is a very famous hollywood director very creative and his movies are like mind blowing movies uh, you know he has made some really path breaking movies i want to you all to listen to the first 3 minutes of his talk here so ajay can you play this um, video please are you able to hear it yes yes no the audio is not visible audible just a moment let me see uh, share audio as well yes here tonight i guess now hi. you can hear hi yes 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 thank you very much it's good to be here in boston and thank you very much for coming here tonight hi hi yeah i teach film i make films um I would like to know I'm not a meditator. What does meditation can you say anything about how meditation might connects to your creative process or to the might help the creative process of my students or myself? Yes, I can. Will you? Uh, yes, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh tonight's talk is consciousness, creativity and the brain. and um if you have a golf ball size consciousness when you read a book you'll have a golf ball size understanding when you look out a golf ball size awareness and when you wake up in the morning a golf ball size wakefulness but if you could expand that consciousness then you read the book more understanding you look out more awareness and when you wake up more wakefulness it's consciousness and there's an ocean of pure vibrant consciousness inside each one of us and it's right at the source and base of mind right at the source of thought and it's also at the source of all matter and maharishi mahesh yogi teaches a technique called transcendental meditation It's a simple, easy, effortless technique, yet supremely profound that allows any human being to dive within, experiencing subtler levels of mind and intellect and transcend and experience this ocean of pure consciousness. 
This pure consciousness is called by modern physics the unified field. It's at the base of all mind and all matter. And they now say, modern science says, all of matter, everything that is a thing, emerges from this field. And this field has qualities like bliss, intelligence, creativity, universal love, energy, peace. And it's not the intellectual understanding of this field, but the experiencing of it that does everything. You dive within and a transcending, experiencing this field of pure consciousness. Hey, can you stop here? You enliven it. You want. Yeah, can we go to the next slide, please? Okay. So, so, so basically, uh, uh, could you just define a, a shorter uh, synopsis for this video to my students? Yes, yes. So, the next slide is, uh, is a definition and explanation of, of this video. Can you go to the next slide, please? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you have listened to the video, you know, keenly, you must have heard about two words that it says like consciousness, awareness, wakefulness, and creativity. So, what he is trying to say is like if you have a golf ball sized consciousness, that I have previously explained that of the frog, like very small consciousness, very small awareness. So, when you read a book, you will have a golf ball sized understanding, which means very golf ball size understanding. When you look out a, a small golf ball sized awareness, and when you wake up that same morning, golf ball size wakefulness. But if you expand your consciousness, now that expansion is about like you know, when you when you raise your awareness, when you increase your awareness, that consciousness, then you read a book more understanding and you look out more awareness. And when wake up, it's more wakefulness. And it's more wakefulness is more consciousness. And when you are more awake and wakeful, then this is this, this is this place where you have this scope for creativity. This is the place where he's talking about, you know, uh, uh, enlightenment. You know, he's talking about that place where he's talking about the unified field of physics. Physics says it's the unified field. So when you are awake, aware, and conscious. And the moment when you increase your wakefulness, then only that's the re that's the place where you can realize your true for true poten potential, which is basically enlightenment. So, you know, take, even, the even, take even, from this. Even sorry, I'm disturbing you right now. Even for my students who doesn't understand about the English, आपके पास सिर्फ चार steps होते हैं जहाँ से आपको books के बारे में पता लगता है. पहला एक ball size consciousness होता है. Then उसके बाद जब आप books पढ़ते हो तो awareness आती है. अवेयरनेस के बाद आपके पास वेकफुलनेस मतलब पूरी तरीके से जागना होता है जिसको आप कई बार बहुत कहते हैं ना कि एक एनलाइटमेंट मिल जाना सारी चीजें और उसके बाद जाके आपकी क्रिएटिविटी जनरेट होती है राइट अब्दुल दिस समथिंग व्हिच आर सेइंग राइट राइट सो यू कैन टेक इट एज दिस फोर स्टेप सो यू नो एंड टेक होम दिस फोर वर्ड्स कॉन्शियसनेस अवेयरनेस वेकफुलनेस एंड क्रिएटिविटी एंड बुक्स इन अ वे आर आर ए आर ए यू नो इज अ मीडियम थ्रू व्हिच यू कैन बी यू नो यू कैन रियलाइज योर ट्रू पोटेंशियल That's what I want to drive you. Yeah, next slide, Ajay. So the reason why I'm trying to, you know, emphasize on books is we always upgrade with our phones. You know, iPhone nine, ten, eleven, twelve, new software. So this is an age. This is we are no more in the industrial age. We are no more in the agrarian age. We are in an information economy, and we there is lot of changes that is happening. Just like your phone upgrades, you need. you know you need to improve yourself you need to upgrade yourself that is non negotiable and if you don't then you are actually kind of you know uh, losing your significance so i would say that you know reading is is when you read it's a new soft, software upgrade to your brain a new version of mm. you to survive the changes around you and to stay relevant in this 21st century this learning economy you need constant upgrades whether it's books or you know investing in your uh, in your growth in seminars in more uh, more knowledge or whatever you know ways it's required you please keep on upgrading yourself because if you don't then you know in a way you are kind of making yourself irrelevant mm -hmm. yeah so uh, this this session i want to talk about the benefits of book reading and how i am benef i i was benefited and uh, this is um, this is one letter that i want to read here 
Yeah. So, there, so here, here, here I just wanted to tell you about something, Abdul. That Abdul is not reading books and all. He is also getting some kind of benefit. जो अब अगर मैं आपको हिंदी में बताऊं मेरे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि सिर्फ किताबी कीड़ा बन के लोगों को फायदा नहीं होता है उस किताबी कीड़े से लोगों को फायदा कैसे मिलता है अब इसके बारे में अब्दुल आपको आप लोगों को बताने वाले राइट अब्दुल राइट सो यू कैन सी दिस लेटर दिस इज यू नो दिस इज एन आर्टिकल दैट आई रोड फॉर फॉर एन फॉर अ साइट इन यूएस इट वॉज कॉल्ड ऑल वॉइस and uh, the title of this uh, article was the surveillance state and the civil liberties after edward snowden agar aap logo ne inke bare mein suna nahi hai to you can always google edward snowden unhone kya kiya hai and this is the this is a very uh, sensitive topic aajkal pegasus ke bare mein india mein kafi charcha ho raha hai because the government supposedly has used it on phones so us has already you know used this on its own citizens long time back in 2013 so the surveillance state and i was totally unaware of this topic but then you know due to my nature of my you know habit of reading i kind of this is the, you know the example where see you can see this letter this was written to me when i won the semi monthly winner of all versus american contest and um, i this was the in this contest the first prize winner got the 5000 dollar grand uh, prize for the first prize but i was the semi monthly winner uh, from india you know i had no idea absolutely no idea about this topic but then my curiosity got me there and i kind of um, you know won this semi monthly prize uh, and it was kind of a big big uh, eye opener for me as to and i will also tell you how this happened because uh, i invested in a book for 700 700 rupees and my wife told me that why are you wasting that money in that book you are not going to read it and somehow that book was you know that gave me this 250 dollars so you can see a 750 750 rupees book in return you know i got a 250 rupees dollars cash prize so what's the investment and what's the return it is you know it, uh, i'm not I'm not saying it to show off but then imagine the type of returns you give when you invest in yourself this is the point that i want to prove wow perfect example Means, means, yeah, can you, मैं, can... अगर मैं अपने स्टूडेंट्स के लिए हिंदी में बताऊं तो वे कह रहे हैं कि इन्होंने सात सौ रुपए की किताब खरीदने की कोशिश की और इनकी वाइफ ने इनको मना किया कि तुम किताब तो पढ़ोगे नहीं क्यों इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो और सिर्फ उसका एक छोटा सा कंटेंट इन्होंने राइट अप में डाला था जिसका रिवर्ट में इनको दो डॉलर इंडियन रुपीज नहीं है ये यूएस की करेंसी है उसके अंदर इनको मिला तो रिटर्न तो इनको उस वक्त ही मिल गया बट उसके अलावा जो इनका नॉलेज सेशन है और जिस तरीके से हमारे बता रहे हैं ये यही बताने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि आपको सिर्फ इस तरीके से फायदा नहीं देखना कि पैसे के काम में कैसे मिलना है आपका माइंड लेवल भी बहुत ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो जाता है आपको समझने और सोचने की ताकत पता लगती है और अभी एक आगे एक लॉ डिफाइन करेंगे आपको अब्दुल उससे आपको और ज्यादा क्लियर हो जाएगा कि क्या है ये बुक्स को पढ़ने का फंडा क्यों कुछ लोग बहुत ज्यादा पढ़ते हैं और कुछ लोग जो नहीं पढ़ते हैं उनमें और जो पढ़ने उनमें क्या फर्क होता है राइट अब्दुल राइट अजय या सो यू कैन टेक मी टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड so i also want to show you like how my reading has given me a lot of opportunity so i won this award apart from that i won a lot of uh, you know options to write for a lot of papers like digital journal you can see like you know and i wrote for pulse point and i have wrote for other papers this is just a screenshot of how much and i am you know regular uh, employee at a corporate office so this is this, this is my side hustle i do it at night evening when i am free and the happiness that you give like the money amount may be small like 5 dollars 10 dollars but then that's that's insignificant what is significant is the reward that you get and the happiness that you get when you do something and you know it comes back comes back to you in the form of certain recognition and reward so Yeah, you can see here, like you know, I've been getting this kind of uh, payments throughout, like you know, um, for for two three years at least. You know, continuously they have been just pouring in in my account. So, a uh, little bit of investment and the type of reward that is like you know, it is it is exponential. I can tell you, you know, I can guarantee you that if you invest in yourself two hours, three hours a day, and try to take action. if you have dreams then you know this this is an age this is an internet age you can sit sitting here in a remote corner from guwahati or from anywhere were in bihar or any remote location you can realize your potential it is absolutely possible if i can do it then anybody can do it 
बेसिकली आप क्योंकि यहाँ ये बताना चाह रहे हैं कि ये मैटर नहीं करते कि आप मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज के अंदर तभी पैसा कमा सकते हो राइट नाउ अब्दुल अभी इस वक्त गुवाहाटी में है रिमोट एरिया के अंदर है और वहां से बैठ के अगर कोई डॉलर्स में इनकम कमा सकता है तो आप क्यों नहीं कर सकते एग्जैक्टली या सो देन दिस स्लाइड इज अबाउट हाउ टू गेट द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ बुक्स एंड very few points i one thing is keep it a, keep a schedule of reading daily uh non negotiable keep a dedicated time slot for reading keep read consciously and when i say consciously uh, most of us read passively we just read nothing is registered nothing is uh wo kahi kho jata hai hum kitabe padhte hain but then you know nothing remains in our in our mind we don't apply that knowledge so conscious reading is basically when you are reading you underline you you know you save some quotes you write it in your diary you share it with someone talk about it jab jab aap usi ko share karoge aajkal twitter hai facebook hai you can share those line you can share those knowledge with your friends you talk about it recall what you read and share what you read with you know people who are who are keen to you know learn about what you have learned and take action so this is how you will get the best out of books agar aap just kitab padhte ho aur usko padh ke rakh dete ho to usse koi fayda nahi hota then this you know kind of it kind of the memory gets lost so keep keep learning keep sharing and the best way to remember is share your knowledge twitter mein share karo social media mein share karo there are so many sites in social media where uh, there are book clubs you can join book clubs you can join reading clubs you can join you know self improvement there are a lot of groups there To try to kind of invest in your growth. I think that's how you can realize your potential. Yes, Abdul. So uh, Abdul, I'm about... just in informing you that we are running short of time. So please. Yeah. So people who who are new to reading, I would say to read ten minutes every day. This picture is about. See, you can see. You know, I want to emphasize that the importance of taking small steps. See the person who is trying to take a big step. वो खुद ले नहीं पा रहा बट समन हुज टेकन लाइक यू नो फाइव फाइव मिनट्स ही वेर इज रिस्ट सो दिस दिस पोटेंशियल अबाउट रीडिंग टू मिनट्स टू थ्री मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स अ डे मेक इट लाइक फाइव मिनट्स अ डे रीड बट देन रीड एवरी डे टेक अ डेडिकेटेड टाइम स्लॉट एंड रीड एंड इट इज गिविंग इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू वेरी बिग रिटर्न दैट्स माई प्रोमिस टू यू एक्चुअली दिस इज द सेम प्रोमिस व्हिच वी आर फुलफिलिंग सिंस लास्ट वन एंड अ हाफ ईयर इन गेम ऑफ मूवमेंट एज वेल we are taking every day small small steps in the terms of slot and we are getting so much of benefit so yes you are right absolutely yeah so here are the first you know the five best books that i recommend so i was talking about my award so this is the first book that i bought for 700 rupees that digital age it's it, it it's it's written by google founder uh, eric smith and jared cohen they are the founders of google the search engine so you can understand the importance of this book it's it, it talks about the internet and the power of internet and it's an eye opening book i tell you it's amazing uh, one book that can you know reveal so much about the potential of internet and what you can do in the internet so do do you know take this recommendation and if you have time then do read this book and then the next book that i want to talk about is happy money so it is about money we all are running after money but then why we want to money is one question we always to answer how much money do we need and why we need this book is about like it explains uh, you know what what happens to money and how how our how our attitude to money defines our lifestyle so if you are looking for money and happiness i mean this and how if you are achieving you want to achieve happiness through money i think this book is a must read third book is um, about influence influence is it's about the it's about persuasive uh, communication so when we talk why would someone listen to you so this book talks about the power of persuasion aajkal influencer ka zamana hai you know people who are very creative and there are a lot of followers in inter internet so how can you be an influencer in your communication and how people will stop and listen to you so if you are if you want to improve your communication uh, then this book is about you know it's it's a good book to read and of course the power of subconscious mind is our mind is just two parts conscious mind and the subconscious mind the subconscious mind is 70% of our mind which does you know which takes part of our 
blood circulation, breathing. It takes part of all the involuntary processes that happen in our body. And that is the most powerful part of the mind. We don't take care of that mind. So, you know, we have to understand the power of, you know, feeding a power to the subconscious mind. So if you are keen to nourish your mind, this book, understand the subconscious mind, then this book is an eye opener. Now, of course, uh, think and grow rich. Anybody would say this is just a good read book and, you know, kind of a, um, you know, most people would recommend, but this, this book, I would suggest this book is really uh, one defining book then can, that can, you know, open a lot of things for you. It's not just about richness in terms of money. But it talks about how you can grow rich in all the areas of your life, in your relationships, in, in other areas of your life, apart, apart from just looking for money. So just money is something that just doesn't define our existence. There are a lot of other things that we need to kind of, you know, add to our life to make it meaningful. So yeah, these books are, um, uh, you know, do try, do, do uh, take time to read them if you feel like, or, you know, these are just recommendations, not any, you know, uh, I mean, these are books that help me. So I thought I would share, share it with Guys, you. Guys, this is not a recommendation. This is something which you have to do because why this person is telling you this, this person has already read more than 300 books. And out of them, if he is recommending you these five books, then you can understand what is the value of this book. So please go with these recommendations. <coughs> so I would personally, personally prefer that you should go for reading. Yes, yes. Uh, yes uh, can I yes, add sir. something here? Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go sure. On. Yeah. Actually, you know, I have read this. Uh, you know, the power of your subconscious mind and thinking grows by Napoleon Hill. Uh, but I, I, you know, uh, I got a lot of things. Okay, and I, I came across a lot of you know new new things. Like you know, thinking grows. I think is the whole book is you know based on our imagination and all. Am I right? True. 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 It's about imagination. Yeah, yeah. It's and about it's about yeah. It's about the power that you can give to your brain. Yes, 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 yes. It means uh, you know uh, basically. I think uh, for the students, if they want to improve their imagination, if they want to improve their you know uh, you know the you know the leadership skills and uh, something like that, they can you know they can and and this book is written in very you know uh, in very easy. How should I say? It means. Uh, uh, yeah, in an easy, easy way, easy language. Written, no? yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, the other books also, yes, the the new digital age and the happy money, and all. Uh, I'm going to read them very soon. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> sure, thank you, thank you. Thank and you, students, you yeah, definitely, if you can read them, it's very, it's very beneficial. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Thank, uh, thank you. So this slide now, and uh, this this may be a little uh, different from the books that we are reading, but I wanted to kind of explain this slide to you. So Maslow, Abraham Maslow was a psychologist, and he actually um, studied human behavior. And he, uh, in this pyramid, he has basically explained human needs in, in, a, in, a, in a hierarchy. So basically, you can see that at the Base of the pyramid, you can see all the all the basic things in life, like breathing, food, water, uh, sleep. You know your other daily activities that are those are those are the basic needs. Those are at the base of the pyramid. But as you move up, you know, फिर आपका आ जाता है safety, love, belongingness, esteem. So and then finally you can see self actualization. It is finding your purpose in life. So basically. हर किसी इंसान को यू नो वो कहीं ना कहीं वो नीचे का तीन लेवल में ही रह जाता है यू नो नीड नीड बेस्ड यू नो रिक्वायरमेंट्स पे तो वो क्या करता है ही इज हार्डली बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट फाइंडिंग इज देन यू विल सी मोस्ट लाइक नो जस्ट एग्जांपल लाइक यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द हॉलीवुड एक्टर्स बोथ दो हाई पेड रिच पीपल सम ऑफ देम एंड अप एज ड्रग एडिक्ट्स और यू विल सी मोस्ट ऑफ देम पीपल आर डिप्रेस लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव विद मनी आर डिप्रेस यू नो दे आर नॉट हैप्पी what is the reason the reason is that you know they are kind of stuck in that in that you know that need wale hierarchy mein yahi kahi third level second third level pe reh jate hain so our purpose in life is to kind of realize our true potential you know uh, our creator has created us with a purpose and we will go back to him with a purpose but uh, we all we all are provided with food hamare paas ghar hai hamare paas you know our parents have given us recent recent food you know they have given us security we have we have got a job 
we we are also now we have our relationships as well now actually when we have all this now maslow says that now it's time to think of your purpose in life who you are and what you are like why have you come to this earth so now to find your true purpose that's where the real game changer is you know you have to think about your true purpose and your goals and self actualization so that's the highest level of need you can um, achieve so this pyramid is very very crucial kind of you know it kind of explains why where you are and where you need to go and of course you know books and your and your outlook in life your consciousness all these things are at a higher level of uh, you know of the pyramid so if you want these things will not come easy you have to uh, you know work for it so self realization self actualization is kind of a higher level goal it's a higher skill to understand so i also is request you to kind of you know work towards self improvement and reach there you know uh, the reason why i am here is i want to i wanted to share is you know i i feel that you know i i gain something from books and this is the reason why i thought i i want to share it with you all my benefits and yeah this is one one way of reaching out to you to kind of uh, drive on the point that please you know invest in yourself take out time read invest in self growth and help people help the help the society become a true global citizen i want to actually, end here yeah actually mai abdul yahan par ek ye ek law ke bare mein bata rahe hain mai apne hindi students ke bare mein bata raha hu ki aksar log na ye pehle niche ke teen steps mein hi ja jate hain khana peena matlab is tarike ki basic si cheeze ki job kaise hoga friendship kaise hoga to ye teenon mein hi kahin na kahin wo fas ke ja jate hain unhe apni zindagi ka maqsad hi nahi samajh mein aata aapne bhi dekha hoga jaise kuch log suicide tak kar jate hain पैसा भी होता है मनी भी होती है जॉब भी होता है सब कुछ होता है बट उनको समझ में नहीं आता कि करना क्या है तो ये जो बुक्स है ना ये आपको वो अवेयरनेस देती है चौथे और पांचवे स्टेज पे पहुंचने के लिए जिसको कहते हैं सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइजेशन राइट अब्दुल दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच यू आर सेइंग राइट राइट फाइंडिंग योर पर्पस सो मोस्टली आपको आपको खुद ही ये सवाल करते होंगे कि मैं आया क्यों इस दुनिया में यू नो व्हाई एम आई हियर व्हाई हैज गॉड क्रिएटेड मी ये क्वेश्चन तो कहीं ना कहीं आता होगा you know there is a exactly. question of yeah you know why am i why has god created me as just to have food and enjoy and isi ke liye aaya tha and obviously there must be a there must be a a, fall, a, a gap in you like you know kya kar raha hu main what am i doing is there something that i need to do are you uh, andar mein you know there is this, this drive inside you something that is not being realized wo drive isliye nahi realize ho raha because you are not understanding your potential and to understand mm-hmm. your potential you know books are a way to kind of give you open your eyes ek kitab aap padhte ho to wo jo golf ball sized awareness bataya tha maine wo medak wale jo awareness hai to that awareness where you know an astronaut is explaining the view from space obviously you can't reach you know you have not gone to space but then when you read his book obviously you get that big awareness that overview effect aapko lagta hai you know kya maine main main kahan hu you know kind of when you start understanding your place in the universe and when you probably read a book on spirituality when you read a book on say you know on travel or you know when you expand your reading up bahut sari kitabe padhte ho to aapki jo hai aapke paas ek naya naya life ko dekhne ka ek naya you know focus aata hai life mein so you kind of you understand try to understand the world around you you understand yourself and then it kind of gets you life as uh, you know life achieves a new meaning out of it so uh, this is one you know one uh, point that i wanted to drive on yeah and those who are curious this is my library this is my pbr list you know this is the books that i presently i want to read so i have been just kept 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 them displayed here so ajay was very curious uh, so he you know after seeing this library he wanted me to share my thoughts with you also this from Guys, where you know, started guys logo ke paas logo ke paas apne kamre hote hain inke paas apni library hai puri ki puri books ki तो आप देख सकते हो ये जो पढ़ रहे हैं और ये जो हमारे से शेयर कर रहे हैं ये कहां से आ रही है डाटा इंफॉर्मेशन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एंड यू नो बुक्स आर द यू नो वन यू नो टाइप ऑफ यू नो एनर्जी सोर्स फ्रॉम वेयर यू नो एनीवन कैन यू नो एक्सपैंड हिज यू नो यू नो थिंकिंग लेवल व्हाटएवर यू नो सम यू नो जनरली पीपल इज टू थिंक ऑन देयर यू नो डिपेंड ऑन देयर कंफर्ट जोन दे कैन नॉट एक्सपैंड देयर यू नो कंफर्ट जोन टू थिंक समथिंग यू नो न्यू टू to uh, to think something you know in a creative level so books is you know type of source i guess and uh, it has a lot of energy to let uh, to let you to think over the you know your comfort zone 
So exactly, it's... it kind of changes you, Shamal. I think you gave broke a good point. I mean, books kind of give you a new way of looking at life, and it also pushes you to kind of realize your you know true potential. So, I, yes, when yes, I'm yes. talking about books, I'm not just talking about entertainment books. You know, love story or you can read those, but there are a lot of books that uh, you know there are talk about. Uh, I'm talking about you know the, the serious books that kind of nourish your mind. You know, for the mind, you know there mm-hmm. are a lot of books around. You should look for those books. And uh, if you, and of course, feel free to reach out to me. Anyone, you know, I am. I always uh, I'm very happy if anyone reaches out to me on books. And if anyone wants to need need a recommendation or help with books, please feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to kind of help you out on reading or you. or or anything yeah so this uh, session is uh, you know the remaining is about questions if you have any questions please feel free to ab aap logo ki koi bhi sawal hai aap abdul ji se pooch sakte hain and definitely he will be answering you about the books and all to koi bhi question hai aap apna unmute karke aap pooch sakte hain sawal kisi ka bhi koi sawal hai to um hi abdul am i audible yes yes, yes. या हाय दिस इज श्यामल सो मैं भाई मैं बस एक बात ऐड करना चाहूंगा अभी आपने थोड़ी देर पहले यू हैड शोन सम स्लाइड्स इन वन ऑफ दोज देयर वाज वन स्लाइड वेयर इन यू हैड शोन दैट वी आर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स राइट राइट तो बस मैं यहां पे बस थोड़ा सा ये ऐड करना चाह रहा था ऑल्दो आई डोंट हैव अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट दिस बट एक्चुअली आई फॉलो बुद्धिज्म सो बुद्धिज्म में ये बात बोली गई है कि यूनिवर्स आपका एक्सटेंशन होता है और आप यूनिवर्स के एक्सटेंशन होते हैं जो आप करेंगे वो आपके यूनिवर्स में जाएगा और जो आपके यूनिवर्स में जाएगा वो आपके अंदर आएगा बेसिकली सो इट्स लाइक लॉ ऑफ नेचर सो आई आई रियली गॉट दैट एंड रियली कनेक्टेड विद दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज एंड आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी टू हियर दैट दैट somebody else also is talking about the same thing so i just wanted to congratulate you about that and thank you so much for the information thank you shamal i think i think you are to you yeah yeah we and you concur here you know that's why i said be mindful of your self talk you know don't don't uh, feed your mind with self defeating talk like me may inadequate who may may you know i'm i'm not good enough or exactly. you know may you know all this all these all these things are self defeating it kind of defeats the purpose god has made you you know it's given you the brain which is the kind of most wonderful thing that you know and it it is its ability to think so and the talk that you be mindful of it because what you feed the mind if you say i am not good enough the mind will accept you are not good enough you know the moment you say i am good enough you know i can help people the mind will say yes you can help people go out and help people when you when you say you know you put your yep. my, you know feed that thought in the mind that i am a writer the mind says yes you are a writer my friend go ahead and write and you know mm-hmm. share it with the exactly. world i am an actor yep. you know so all those people who are who are you know action takers they feed the mind with all those you know um, not self defeating talks but then positive feedback every day you know that feedback is very important what you talk to yourself every day that's very crucial and books are a way to kind of give you those you know language to kind of talk to your mind you know when you see when you read a book and or just internalize that and you know feed that with the mind and kind of ex- take action and then see magic happens you know magic yes, will yes, happen yes. this magic happens so mere hindi students ne aapko bata du yahan par ek bahut achhi cheez batayi abdul ne yahan par कि आप अपने दिमाग को जो सिग्नल देते हो ना कि मैं ये कर सकता हूँ तो आप कर सकते हो गेम ऑफ मूवमेंट भी यही कर रहा है आप भी वही कर रहे हो तो अपने आप को कभी गलती से भी मत बोलना कि यार मैं तो मेरी जिंदगी खराब है ये वो समझ लेगा वो और वही बोलेगा हाँ यार तुम्हारी जिंदगी खराब है तो जो अपने दिमाग को आप फीड करवाओगे वही वो आपको वापस दे देगा तो गलती से भी नेगेटिव नहीं बोलना अपने आप राइट अब्दुल आपका थॉट सॉरी मैं विषय बोल दिया yeah so that is what i was saying or, or abdul was trying to say the same thing that aap uh, whatever you do uh, whatever you think your actions will follow and your universe will be turned according to that to aap jo kar rahe ho aapke actions waise ho jayenge jaise aap sochenge exactly nahi nahi kar paye ab aane and i want to i want to drive i want to say this that you know negativity will come it is uh, it is part of human nature negativity Uh, no one can can you know no one is in a in a position to kind of stop negativity but we have the power in us to kind of not allow it to you know make a home space for it inside our mind negativity aata hai to you know accept there is negativity and then 
टेक टेक एक्शन टू काइंड ऑफ रिमूव दैट नेगेटिविटी तो वो कॉन्शियस होना पड़ेगा आपको वो ही मैं जो फर्स्ट जो वर्ड्स जो मैंने बताया था कॉन्शियसनेस अवेयरनेस वेकफुलनेस आप जब जाग जाते हो ना आपके माइंड को जब आप जगा देते हो तो वो निगेटिविटी असर नहीं करता इट्स लाइक दैट शिप इन द ओशन वो शिप में जो जब तक जब तक पानी यू नो दैट एंटायर वाटर इन द यू नो कान ड्राउन दैट शिप अंटिल यू नो यू नो दैट दैट यू दैट शिप विल सेल वो पूरी चारों तरफ निगेटिविटी है लेकिन अगर वो शिप के अंदर पानी आ जाता है शिप विल ड्राउन सो डोंट लेट निगेटिविटी एंटर यू यू नो डोंट लेट इट मेक ए स्पेस इन योर इन योर ब्रेन सो इफ इफ यू सी निगेटिविटी रिमूव इट लाइक स्लोली एंड स्लोली टेक एक्शन फीड इट विथ पॉजिटिव सेल्फ टॉक एंड काइंड ऑफ एक्सेप्ट देर इज निगेटिविटी एंड स्लोली टेक एक्शन टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो इराडिकेट दैट निगेटिविटी बट देन इफ यू लेट इट ग्रो दैट निगेटिविटी देन इट विल ड्राउन यू लाइक यू नो इन योर बट With hundred percent understanding. Wow, that's an interesting question. Uh, that uh, hi Divya, thank you. Very good question. So reading lot of books in less time, you know, uh, that's a you know, uh, this is uh, I mean depends on what type of book you are reading. So I would suggest that you know don't keep a timeline for books and. Um, time to uh, see everybody has got 24 hours of in uh, you know, 24 hours i have 24 hours and you have 24 hours if i can find time or you know if somebody else can find time reading 10 minute wohi maine kaha ki 10 minute aap padho to start with 5 minutes 10 minutes 10 pages a day and whatever you read read it consciously you know uh, understanding tabhi aayega jab aap usme us book mein aap usko us cheezon ko aap samjhoge underline karoge repeat karoge share karoge kisi se discuss karoge then only that you know that will get internalized but if you just do passive reading usse kuch hoga nahi so i would suggest ki find a group you know there will be many book lovers around you know in your society or there are lot of, there are book book clubs around you know you can join those clubs uh and rose every day like if you have decided to read take some time out early in the morning so that's that's why i get up like 4:30 in the morning every day my schedule starts at 5 so you know i am done uh, cleaning myself and 6 to 6:30 30 uh, you know 30 minutes of my day goes to reading and i read like you know i non negotiable because my kids are sleeping at that time and everybody so there's no disturbance i just go and i don't do anything else i just read 30 minutes mein main jitna pad sakta hu i kind of so you know, some that. people are also saying that this is the best time that if you are reading in the night by the time of you are going to sleep yes exactly so uh, i uh, that's what i want to complete by say early in the morning when you start your day with a good you know with a good book then kind of it kind of fills your day so maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes and before sleeping at night again 5 10 minutes maybe 10 minutes uh, you know before uh, you know when you are closing off everything listen to some good music and then read for 5 10 minutes so oh, students, that's how so, should, like that's uh, j- sorry yeah. ma apne students ke liye aur jo hum log kya karte hain students yahan par hum log raat ko web series dekh rahe hote hain ya kisi ke bare mein bitching karke fix ho rahe hote hain ya fir wo, mobile ke upar wo apne wo kya kehte hain social media ke feeds dekh rahe hote hain to so, see ek intellect level pe jo bande hote hain wo kya kar rahe hote hain ab main main aapko ye abdul ke bare mein bata raha hu ye khud bata rahe hain ki subah aadha ghanta padhte hain aur raat ko sone se pehle bhi padhte hain aur dekh rahe ho results aapke samne ki ye ab hamare sessions le rahe hain और बहुत मुश्किल से टाइम मिला इनका मेरे को पिछले सेशन में भी हम लेना चाहते थे इनका टाइम सीजन थ्री के अंदर तो हम नहीं ले पाए थे तो अभी भी किसी का कोई सवाल है बुक से रिलेटेड तो पूछ सकते हैं वी हैव ओनली फाइव मिनट्स मुझे लग रहा है ऐसा कुछ लगता है हम लोग सीधी कर गए टाइम पे थोड़ा किसी का कोई और सवाल अब्दुल राइट हाय हाय अब्दुल इट वाज वेरी एक्चुअली एनलाइटिंग एक्सपीरियंस टू लिसन टू यू यू नो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी यू एक्चुअली आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम and uh, really it was very enriching for me abdul thank you thank you for your talks and thank you for inviting me thank you uh, i i can't recall uh, who uh, who am i speaking to i mean sorry the screen is not uh, okay the i'm i'm palas here palas here oh oh hi palas palas oh, okay hi friend i 
I, your name is not getting written. So yeah, good. Good to hear. Good to hear you, Pral Palash. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, it was a, it was really enlightening. Actually, you know, I was uh, really benefited, you know, by your talks. And just right now, I'm traveling, so right. you know, and I'm, you know, it was just enjoying your talk, and I'm just uh, so thank you, thank you for just uh, giving me the information about your talks. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? Who have question? Kisi ko if you have any question, students. Agar aap me se kisi ke paas koi sawal hai, Abdul ke liye to puch sakte hain abhi. No questions. I guess there is no more question than we can wind up this session. Okay, thank you, thank you for having me, uh, everyone. You know, I hope I hope I could give some value, uh, you know, in this session. And uh, and Abdul, hope, first of all, lastly, not a last, definitely, I would like you to again to take such kind of session again in the future. But I am really thankful to you that you give us a such. Such a beneficial session on the books because ये मेरे students के लिए आती है जिनको जो हिंदी जानते हैं उनके लिए बता रहा हूँ बहुत ही ज़्यादा एक useful session बना है and I definitely appreciate that you gave us a time so 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 I I can't have more words rather than say thank you right now <laughs> thank you Ajay thank you for having me and you know I I I really you know got benefited interacting with you all and looking forward to hearing from you all. And Thank in you. the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, for my student, in case still you have any kind of question, then you can note down this email ID and then you can write in him, write write him right now, and then then you can ask any kind of question or any kind of support regarding the book, whether you wanted to see what kind of book you should read after that. मतलब recommendations तो ठीक है जो उन्होंने पांच आपको दी हैं उसके बाद भी अगर आपको लगे कि उनसे बात करनी चाहिए किसी book के बारे में तो feel free to contact me and definitely we will give you on that. Sure, and any any obstacles you are facing in life with regard to you know growth, I also feel like sharing those. So whatever I can do, I can share my insights with you. So feel free to reach out. Uh, you know uh, this email is always open, and I would take care to reply your uh, you know uh, assure be assured that I'll reply your. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Take bye care. Bye. Good evening. Good evening.